our next speaker to, to set this up right, I want you all to think back to Spring One Platform last year, where we heard from Nikki Allen from Boeing about some of the transformational work that had begun um, inside the major aviation manufacturer. And so this year, um, to set up our, our next speaker, which is CIO and SVP of IT at Boeing, um, I want you to think back to her talk where she, she mentioned that uh, culture will eat strategy for lunch. So this year, my question is, what's for dinner? So please welcome Boeing CIO and SVP, Ted Colbert. Good morning, Spring One. How's everybody doing? Good, good. How many of you watched the Jetsons? How many of you remember the Jetsons? Yeah? All right. So I don't feel so old now. I was worried that a lot of hands wouldn't come up and I'd feel like uh, my age was coming to bear here a little bit. So I watched the Jetsons as a kid in the morning, uh, eating sugary cereal with whole milk. Who still does that? Nobody, right? Uh, for a period of my childhood, I watched this show and marveled in the fantasy of things that just seemed absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. Now, the world's moved on. Go to the next chart. The Jetsons was a fictional cartoon created in 1962 by Hannah and Barbera. If you know about these folks, they also created the Flintstones, which was about the Stone Age. The Jetsons was about the year 2062, which is how many years from now? About 40 some odd years? So we're almost there. It seemed as though the Jetsons could get wherever they wanted, they could get whatever they wanted, and they had the coolest tools ever. They had video conferencing, they had conveyors that moved them all over the place, they had home computers, uh, they had stuff that we could only imagine would ever come to life. Jane had a dress selector on the Jetsons. It's kind of like augmented virtual reality today. And in the end of the first episode, uh, one of the students in the show actually watched the billionth episode of the Flintstones on a watch TV. Hmm, what does that sound like? So, a lot of opportunity there. And as a kid, you watch this with fantasy. As an adult now, doing what I do, what do I see? I see a foundation of great software. There had to be software in the Jetsons age, fueling all of this innovation and great, great technology. So now we move into our era. When you look back at the cartoons and you see the flying pods and the printed food and video conferencing and whimsical inventions, now you see it from the different perspective that I talked about before. This is the Red Barn. In the Boeing company, this is an icon that represents the beginning of our company. It's where everything began. We have 100 years of experience in building physical and digital platforms. In our first 100 years, we helped shrink the Earth. In our next 100 years, we are going to help shrink the universe. How many of you have flown on a 787 Dreamliner? Hands? Some folks? The seven, you love it, absolutely. We love it too. The 787 at about 650 miles an hour is the most innovative airplane platform ever built in the commercial market. It's a composite frame and it delivers performance that is unmatched. Since 2011, the 787 opened up over 170 city pairs that didn't exist before the plane was launched. The foundations of our company are clear, and we have been doing amazing work. I'm a little biased, and I think that our role and what we'll do is actually fuel the Jetsons age. The pictures you see here are some of the beginnings of those. 
autonomous refueling aircraft. We're working on supersonic flight. We're working on low Earth autonomy. Freight delivered through drones. I could go on and on and on about the cool things that we have going on. We're going to space. We're working on autonomy everywhere, in the air, on land, and at sea. We are at a pivotal moment where we must leverage our beginnings. What started in that red barn that I just showed you got us here, and we must now digitally transform the way that we build our products. We will continue to digitally transform our products, the way we build them, and how our customers derive life cycle value from them after they purchase them for the life of those products. And that also includes our supply chain. We will power the Jetsons age. So how do you do that? You have to have a strategy. We have big goals. We have big financial goals. Although I talk about the fantasy of all this cool technology, we're still a business, right? Huge revenue increases, great margin, lots of cash. And in order to deliver that and to deliver the Jetsons era, we'll need what? Great, great software. Absolutely. This is all about software, you guys. You got to get pumped about great software here. Come on now, work with me. We will need great software. We will have to build it. We'll have to get it from our partners. And we'll have to use it to transform the way that we work in the company from hire to retire, the way we deliver our end-to-end -end processes from quote to cash in the ERP system. We'll have to change the way our customers receive value and deliver predictive capability every single day. And so that strategy begins with first having the right capability and capacity within the company. We have to have teammates that are digitally literate and understand the opportunity to leverage these data-soaked platforms and great software to deliver artificial intelligence to fuel this future. Our folks have to understand the power of data and the power of great software. They have to understand new skill sets. Then we have to have tech enablement, which is what we love to talk about in this room. We're building a digital foundation for the company that standardizes how we work in end-to-end -end processes. We're building a platform with modern analytics capabilities that leverages that foundation and allows us to glean insights across our entire value stream. And we're doing this all leveraging a new method of working, Agile. We all know about Agile. Our teams are leveraging Agile in a way that they've never done it before, and with Pivotal Cloud Foundry delivering solutions at a pace unseen in our company. Then, after we work through all that, we deliver to our value streams. We deliver to every employee in the company and make them more productive. We deliver a model-based engineering basis for everything that we do. We digitally enable the entire supply chain. We have intelligent factories and our customers, our customers are the folks whose planes you ride on, are able to predict maintenance. They're able to have visibility into airplane health management that they've never had before. There's crew scheduling solutions that, I don't know how many of you all have been stuck in an airport during weather inclement, right? How many of you have been stuck in an airport? Yes, no? Yes, we should be able to prevent all that chaos from happening with the availability of the data that we have and great software and analytics. To me, leadership is absolutely everything. This is my leadership team. Some of you guys are out here somewhere. I know my cloud team somewhere. Shout out to them. Are you guys out there somewhere? There you go. There's a few of them. The team represents a puzzle. These puzzle pieces are empowered to catalyze transformation in this $100 billion, 100-year company. We stay productive as a team because we stay aligned around our goals. How many of you all have perfect families? Yes? Where are the perfect families? 
I'll talk to you later. This team is the most functional, dysfunctional team you'll ever come across in your entire life. It is a team of champions, a team of really smart, hardworking people aligned on our mission. This team is focused on catalyzing the transformation of our company and enabling technology to get us to the Jetsons world. We lead with candor every single day, and we demonstrate the behaviors that we know help move our company forward. I know it's unusual to show a leadership team at a tech conference, but it is so important that each and every one of you understands like who's on your team, or posse, or squad, or whatever you want to call them, because this team is super important to me. Our little Jetsons pod that got the Jetsons family around obviously needed great software. Our partnership with Pivotal is allowing us to accelerate our ability to create great software in the Boeing company. The requirements of our products, safety first and quality, require a level of certification and regulation that's unseen in largely most of the business to, to consumer market. So this work is really, really hard. Changes to our software will require DevOps and continuous integration and delivery. And so the work that we're doing today to transform the company is just practice. We are practicing for the world to come. We are practicing for the need for great software in the digital age. We are learning how to bring the physical and digital together, and our team partnered with Pivotal is making that happen. In a very short time, we've changed the culture of software development, and working in IT is fun again. It is not just about supporting Blackberries and servers and data centers. It's about delivering outcomes and value to our company. Our teams have been training in Agile through Pivotal and using PCF are empowered to create these outcomes to drive our company. And we call this, as it says in the middle of this chart, the digital transformation environment. It'll be a catalyst for transforming the way we build our software at Boeing, and I believe it will shore up our ability to deliver great, come on, you guys, great. All right, great software, which will fuel the Jetsons age. Thank you very much.